Hi, my name is Esau and this is Imogen and we are the Semester 2 School Captains of Grimwade House. Now we're going to interview the new Headmaster, Mr Grutzner. What feelings do you have coming into the role of Headmaster at Melbourne Grammar? Well Esau, I'm a little bit nervous because it's a big job with lots of expectations but I'm really excited about being in a, in a school that's such a fantastic school and has a really bright future. What qualities make a successful headmaster? Well you've got to be really passionate at what you're doing um, and you've got to love learning but also you've got to be a good leader and to be very good to the people that make up our school. Mr Grutzner, what are your favourite memories as a child? Well I had a great childhood. I uh, grew up in Melbourne and had great fun with my older brother and sister made lots of friends and we'd always enjoyed mucking around together on weekends. What were your favourite subjects at school and why? I liked actually almost all the subjects I did, so I liked languages and science. Mathematics was good, but probably English was my favourite because mm -hmm. I love writing and, and reading. Can you speak another language? Well, I can speak a bit of French, which I learnt at Melbourne Grammar, but my wife Yasmin's German, so I understand a little bit of German as well. Who was your inspiration as a child? Well, my parents, who were great uh, parents, who provided me with uh, a lot of love and lots of opportunities, uh, and also my, my school teachers, they're the people that I really admire. What are some of your hobbies? Well, I like playing and watching sport. Um, I like cooking and eating the food that we cook. Um, I love bushwalking and, of course, spending time with my family. If you could learn any musical instrument, what would it be? Well, I used to play the clarinet at school and I didn't do it all that well, so I think I'd like to have another go at learning the, the clarinet. Could you describe yourself in three words? Well, very tall, but also feeling very um, grateful for the life I've led so far and someone that's always interested in learning and exploring new ideas. In what way would you like to improve Melbourne Grammar? Well, it's a pretty hard question, Esau, because it's such a great school. So I'm looking forward to getting out there and looking and listening and learning and then might make a few um, smaller changes. But it's such a good school and long may that continue. Thank you, Mr Grutzner, for taking the time out to come and see us today. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thanks, Imogen. Great to catch up. Thank you.